Hey guys, thanks so much for coming over to watch another video. This is Alan Hernandez with Elite Gaming. Today, guys, the focus on this video is to walk you through the NVIDIA Control Panel application so that you're able to optimize your video uh, graphics card settings and get the best out of it. So, if you're interested in learning the different options, please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing to keep in mind when you open the NVIDIA control panel is what are the options available and what can you do from this application compared to what you can do from inside the game. Now to understand the difference on the two, inside each individual game you'll have graphics, videos, etc. Uh, settings to able to adjust the graphics. But also you have those same and even more options using the NVIDIA control panel. Now the difference on the two is that from here you're able to overwrite or enhance uh, or fully control basically the ultimate graphics for your games. And so, but you can also tell the application that you can allow the game to control those settings. So let me walk you through the basics here real quick so you're able to get started uh, optimizing your NVIDIA graphics cards. So when you open it here, you're going to notice that the first one here says adjust image settings with preview. So here's the basic three option uh, settings. So you have let the 3D application decide. So what that means is whatever settings you adjust inside the game, that's what's going to be. On the second one here, you have use advanced 3D image settings, and those are these ones here, manage 3D settings. And from here, you're able to basically adjust whatever you want for each individual setting here, as you can see. And then the third option would be to use my preference to either performance, balance, or quality. And if you do this, again, yes, the NVIDIA control panel application is taking control off the settings, not the game, but you're basically just choosing quality. And in my example, if I do that, let's say if I choose quality, just to simplify this, then um, the 3D settings would then adjust to that option. So if I go inside here, then you'll see that it basically adjusted that based on my hardware, based on what it recommends on my system, um, what operating system I'm working on, right? So it just kind of automatically adjusts those options to give me quality, which is what I selected. And as you can see here, not bad on the settings if you go through it. However, though, if you do require to specify a specific setting for those certain options, then you might want to choose advanced here, apply, and then you can go over to your manage 3D settings and then adjust this to whatever you want. So for example, normally um, I recommend you do this if you have your hardware maxed out. For example, in my, uh, in my end, I have 16 GB memory. I have the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti 4 GB um, video card. I'm running an i7 processor with four cores. And so again, you know, so far I'm maxed out in terms of hardware. But if you have anything in the middle of that or way below that, like for example, 2GB memory or 4GB uh, memory with i3 or i5 processor, um, you may want to allow quality and let it do its thing on its own, not specify the individual settings. And if you have anything before that, uh, lower than, you know, 4GB or i3, then again, you might want to allow uh, the application to performance in this example, where you can still play the game, you'll get great graphics, but it's not focused on the quality and detail. 
So if we go back to the managed 3D settings, in my example here, the same thing. So I'm going to go back to um, this one, use advanced settings, right? Apply that. And then I can go inside here again. And then basically here I can adjust it to whatever I want it to be. Now you see the difference when I selected to manually do this uh, for me to go through the events options. It left it different from where it was. But if I go over here and then I choose quality, right, then normally the way I do it is I'll choose quality first so that I can then see what the application recommends, as you can see here but then I'll make small adjustments and remember based on your hardware so on the 4 here I want to go ahead and do 8 and then on the 8 here I'll do 16 right and just leave the rest where they are and then so if you go through the application you will also see options like for example use the 3d application setting so here you see where what it's letting you know is that whatever setting you have inside the game, this specific option, the pre-render frames, will be controlled by the uh, game, not the NVIDIA control panel. And other options like uh, vertical sync, the same thing. You can either adapt that, you can on that, off, fast, or let the application control that. So, you know, NVIDIA really knows what you uh, should set these settings to and so that's normally how I do it I'll set it to quality balance or performance and then from there I'll make small adjustments inside here where I'm still using the advanced option but I'm not making much uh, changes on here so if I go through uh, this option here let's say um, I have the most important ones which is this one this one and this one's down here so I think I have it where I want it to be so I'm going to choose apply and that's pretty much done guys very simple but you know the difference on the two like I said is that some games will not give you much option on optimizing your graphics and so those settings are very limited from here you can really take it to another level where there's games that only allow 4x this one gives you 16 so it really forces that um, setting to give you that quality detail. Now let's jump into another one that I think is also great when uh, adjusting your settings would be for example maybe you're setting up a multiple display so you want to make sure that those two options are also enabled on here and for those of you who are using the uh, 3D setting um, and you have those 3D glasses or you somewhat have this configured you'll optimize those settings here as well another thing that I also notice um, you know when configuring certain desktops for some of my clients is that you know you may want to adjust your desktop size and position so from here you can really again force that the uh, resolution be to its full potential in this case full screen so you know by default you might have it here on the aspect ratio but again you can choose full screen on each of those monitors that you're using and then apply down here and you can also choose no scaling you know play with the settings you even have the option to change the resolution from here as well if we go over to change resolution that's another uh, setting that's great when optimizing your graphics is in one particular option the refresh rate you know depending on the monitor that you're using you can even ref uh, change the refresh rate up to 75 and so in my example I only have 60 so that's my max so if you have something higher the same concept as before depending on the hardware that you're using that's what's going to determine whether or not you maximize that option or just keep it at default which you know you'll know what it says on here but if you have something uh, like me where you maxed out on the hardware then hey the higher you go on the rate the better you'll get um, on the on the game now on here you also have the option to change the resolution for example you know I'm connecting these two monitors one on HDMI and the other one on DVR so you notice that on this one I have the option to bring this dynamic super resolution because that's HDMI and that will be the primary display and the other one just be the extended display where you have again 1920 by 1080 that's great too 
So you can keep this by default or you can adjust it the way you think works for you, depending on the monitor you're using. Uh, the same thing in the last option here will be the desktop color depth. Same thing, you have it on the highest, which is 32 bit. Anything below that, make sure you change it to the 32. By default, that's where it should be. But, you know, make sure that it is. Very simple, guys. I think that the application offers uh, enough to help you optimize the graphics of the game. Um, if the inside of the game you're playing is very limited, this would certainly enforce that and enhance that or control that. Uh, setting for you to give you the graphics that you're wanting and so thanks for watching guys give it a thumbs up if you like this video post your comments below the video if you have any and before you go if you're not yet to subscribe or make sure that you subscribe now because we have a lot more videos coming up and you don't want to miss out as always thanks for watching